Welcome back to the Press It Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare MLCP pipe for pressing and also some of the range of fittings that are available. So this is our MLCP. Now you cut this with a normal plastic pipe cutter. We're a bit high tech here at Press It UK, so we're going to use the Milwaukee electric cutter. So just going to cut the pipe. And then once you've cut it, you need to prepare it. We've got a deburring tool here, so this just goes into the end of the pipe. You can get these as a drill attachment if you want to pop it in your cordless drill. Sometimes that's better for the bigger sizes. And we're just preparing the end of the pipe there. A few turns. And now that's ready to take a fitting. So that's our pipe prepared, ready for a fitting. Now the fittings, I'm just going to show you this one. This is a 16mm MLCP to 15mm copper adapter. Now I'm just going to break the fitting to show you what's inside it. So we've got two O-rings there. This outer collar here gets crimped onto the outer layer of the pipe and then the internal will be gripping around these O-rings. And the way it does that, if I just pop this back together, if we see the profile of the jaw there, let me do it this way. This blue collar locates you over there or if you're pressing from the other side, there. And it actually presses here and here which is either side of those O-rings. This is a TH Profile MLCP fitting. So this is a TH Profile jaw. You have the blue collar there that locates you into the jaw if you're pressing from that side or from that side, like that. And you can see with this fitting sat in the jaw, it's gonna press onto those two O-rings here and here. So if I pop the fitting back together, like that, it crimps or crushes the outside metal layer onto the outside of the pipe and then turn the inside crimps around the o-rings so when we come to put the fitting onto the pipe obviously we've prepared the end of this pipe we've opened it up and reamed it when we push this on you'll see here we've got a little viewing window when the fitting is onto the pipe as far as it needs to be, you will see the pipe through that viewing window. If you can't see the pipe in the window, you've not pushed it on far enough. So for example, if I push this on, it feels like it's on, but I can't see it in the window, so it's not on far enough. So that needs to go a little bit further. Once you can see that, that's ready to press. Again, we pop the jaw on, locate the blue collar in the jaw, and that's ready to press. Once it's crimped, you get a really obvious crimp marking on the fitting. So pop that into the press tool, locate it in the jaw, and then press it. And you can see that it's very obviously crimped on those two O-rings. Now this fitting, um, like I said, is a 15mm adapter. You can press straight onto this. So we've got a press fit in here. To adapt us to copper you could put a compression fitting onto that you could solder it now if you are going to solder it obviously we've got two rubber o-rings there you would need to solder it first with the o-rings removed and then put it all back together it's a bit long-winded so most guys will press straight onto that now there's not just standard press fittings and mlcp to copper adapters there's all kinds of fittings we're going to show you a few now so this is a mlcp to press that's 16 mil to 15 mil press so our copper pipe will go straight into that we've got an mlcp to a wing back elbow mlcp lever valves so you mlcp straight in mlcp out with an isolation lever valve we've got this shower bracket so you can do your first fix straight into a bracket and then you've got two female wing backs there 150 centers for a shower they even now do an mlcp to an isolation service valve 15 mil compression and this that i've only just seen for the first time today mlcp to iso tap flex there really is everything available now to get you from mlcp to whatever fitting you're using whether it be copper or compression or an isolation valve or straight into a shower there's a fitting for it 